as I'm out here walking out to Waylon, I'm noticing I can see his ribs, I can see his hip bones, and I'm sorry, this is part of my why. Ivy's on my side. I know, baby. I know, love, I know. They're not listening to us and they don't know the whole story. So, I don't know if you know this or not, but there is a great debate happening right here at I'm a Survivor Sanctuary. Lester and I are at odds on something that's pretty big. And I know that he's had a lot of people weigh in, people that are smarter than me, but, but I'm a mom and I'm a woman and I'm here and I see it and I hear it and I feel it and dang it I feel really strongly about this really strongly about this friends Waylon sweet little Waylon and our Jolene have been in the bullpen now for four-ish days and my gosh if Lester doesn't want to put him back out with all the bigs and make him fight. Fight for his food, fight for his dang peace. And I just, I know that I am not a rancher. I know that. But just listen to my side, okay? <laughs> Ivy's on my side. I know, baby. <laughs> I know they're not listening to us and they don't know the whole story so let's give my side okay and yours and your side before we go any further okay things here a couple of things here I bought some new food today for our sweet guy and the thing that I like about it is it supports muscle weight gain for growing cattle it balances in case he's not foraging and it's natural in feeding programs. It looks delicious, right? What do you think, Mr. Hank? Wanna go visit Waylon with me? Let's bring him to snack. You're not supposed to tell anybody. It's supposed to be a secret. This is a secret snack, okay? It's a super secret snack. I'm coming out, love. Oh my God, let me in. Oh, saggage going on. That's a first. All right. Hi, beautiful. Hi, Jolene. So Lester says that they do eat together. Hi, baby. I haven't been out here in a while. I'm sorry. I've been busy working. That's for you, baby. Now, as I'm out here walking out to Waylon, I'm noticing I can see his ribs. I can see his hip bones. And I'm sorry. This is part of my why. Oh, hi, Annie. Hi, Andy. You all want to try some of this? There's some for you. Have a little snack. But seriously, you see his hip bones, right? Come here, Waylon. Hey, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. I didn't anticipate him running from me. Hey, it's not your turn yet, okay? This is about Waylon. Now Waylon wants a pile of his own. Come here, baby. Look, mama's got food for you. Okay, I got my piles poured. Waylon, it's right here, baby. I am not too close to him. I'm actually zoomed in quite a bit. He's smelling it. Oh, he thinks he'll give it a try. He's like, this is pretty good. So you saw that he was last to eat out here. He was even scared of the alpacas, which means he is low man to on the totem pole in the cow world. And I know that everybody says, he's got to fight for himself. He's got to fight for himself. Well, guess what? In nature, he would still have his mother to fight for him. 
he would still be getting the nutrition from mom and mom would be making sure. And yes, he would be learning those tactics and things like that, but he wouldn't be doing it in a setting where he's having to fight other animals for food. Even in here, there's a hierarchy that's designed that he doesn't have the confidence to, to be able to say, hey, no, I'm a bull and this is my food. He lets everyone push him around. So my opinion is he's got to learn that in here first and then be able to make his way out. And in here, there's plenty of green grass for him to nibble on during the day. We can monitor what food he actually does take in. Like right now I'm seeing he ate that pile pretty good. I'm actually going to go get him more food. You can see his ribs. And that's sad to me that he's going through this stress. I noticed in Lester's video the other day that he lost his voice because he cried so long for his mama. And I'm sorry, that breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. And I'm all about building confidence. I'm all about nature and nature's way and things like that when it has to be that way. But I also think that we know our animals best and we're sitting here watching a poor baby who is only in here with four other animals that he doesn't have to fight for for food yet he's sitting here not gaining weight so what do you think's going to happen when he goes back out with the rest of the bigs and he's the last to find a pile of food and he's the last to eat if his courage isn't there and if his body isn't well enough to give him the strength to fight for those places he's not going to fight he's going to stop and that, to me, is, is us not doing our jobs. So yes, I do think that eventually he needs to make his way out with the bigs. I don't think that that day is today. And now we're gonna watch. So Ernie didn't care for that food very much, probably because it's made for cows. And I'm hoping that Waylon will either find his way over with Jolene or find his way over to this pile. And the neat part about that is, is as I'm thinking about the things that Rick Gore talked about and the things that a lot of people in the comments and even Lester has talked about, couldn't we design it to give him the smallest pile here so he has to go fight? So he has to go search for more and has to learn to stand his ground in a setting that's controlled? Hi, baby. Because in my mind, oh, he's coming to me like, do you have any more? Baby, it's over here. Come here, look. Come here, Waylon. See, he's looking to people to help him, which is really sweet. And that means that he knows. So if we're doing what we know is best, oh my God, that whole alpaca family is literally, I don't, I can't even. Poor Ivy. She's behind me and is really wanting to talk about what's going on. Come here, Waylon. Your food's over here. See, I'm making him have to look for another pile. He goes back to the original and doesn't think that this is his because someone else had it. So don't you think that we have the capability to kind of coach him through? Because that's how I feel. I feel like that it's kind of our responsibility because it's not his fault that the drought caused his mom to be a little malnourished. It's not his fault that he had to be pulled sooner. And I'm not saying that we put him in a stall and feed him. Danny. I know, baby. I know. Look at Indy out here playing. I just think that if we have the capability to coach him through and to truly help him build stronger before he has to go out there and quote-unquote, learn how to be a bull. Shouldn't we do that? Lester said, give him a week, get him, you know, get him really good on grains and things like that. I think we need more than a week. And I'm happy to do a, you know, a daily check-in and an update and to really just watch his behavior. But right now, what I see is a baby who needs a mom. And we're the closest thing to mom that he's going to get for right now. And it's our job to protect him. It's our job to make sure that he gets the nutrition. And I know that he's not going to get it by being out with the herd right now. 
So can't this be his herd for now? Can't this be step one? Get him a little bit fatter. Get him, get him stronger, both mentally and physically, before he has to go out with the bigs. Because it's a tough place out there. I'm sorry. When it comes to food, no matter how much food we put out, there's a hierarchy. And there's a lot of pushing and shoving. And even Annabelle right now gets pushed around. And I know he's got to learn to be a bull and he's got to do all those things. But couldn't he learn that here first? As long as Jolene's in here. It's not hurting Jolene. Jolene's got plenty of grass. I just... I'm not asking anybody to be on my side. I'm just, I'm speaking my opinion. And I live here. I see him. I see Jolene. I see the rest of the cows. I know, I know how aggressive dinner time is. And hi, baby. I just feel like, couldn't we watch his demeanor here? Couldn't we watch him try to stand his ground here? And doesn't that take some physical strength first and, and then work on the mental because I think that he's hungry right now. And it's been a very traumatic event for him. See, look, I wanna see it where Jolene doesn't run him off. Jolene, that was mean. That was mean, baby. Oh, did you just spit at me? Or was that a burp? Now, Jolene. Don't see Jolene's ribs or hips. But you sure can on Waylon. Look at, she just told him to go away. And that's sad. And now I wanna watch what he does with Indy. He and Indy, Indy's actually younger than him and Indy is an alpaca. Oh, look, Jolene. That was mean, baby. That was so mean. He needs to be able to stand up to her. And he will, but right now he has no confidence. He's a baby and he wants his mama, but look what he is doing. Jolene, that was rotten, baby. The good news is, is look at this. Jolene left a whole pile over there. He just needs to see it. He wants his pile. He's going back to his original one right now. Come here, Waylon. Come here. Come on, suck, 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 suck. Come here, Waylon. Waylon. Look at here. Look. Come here. Come on, buddy. Waylon. He thinks that the... This is sad. I didn't bring my bucket this time, so he doesn't... He doesn't affiliate food with me. He affiliates it with the bucket. That's good rationale. Hey. Come back here and I have food for you. Jolene walked away from her big old pile. Come on. So not only does Waylon need, oh, he found, oh, he got Indy off of hers. See, one step at a time. Now, Indy's gonna kiss his forehead. This is the cutest thing. Break bread with him, Indy. He stood his ground to her. I think this is good, y'all. I do. I think that we need more time than a week in here. And we need to watch his demeanor and behavior and watch him stand his ground. And eventually when he stands up to Jolene, then, then he'll be ready. And by that time, hopefully he's gotten more meat on his bones. Sorry, more fat on his body and has the capability to physically withstand that and to where he will get hungry enough. Look at who's following me. Hi, baby. Hi, Ernie. Oh, everybody out back is mad. But yeah, I want him to be strong enough confident enough to stand up and he just did to Indy which is an improvement from even 15 minutes ago when I started this video hi guys but Jolene is being a snot face right now and running him off of every pile literally you're rotten little girl look at <laughs> oh they 
just ran Hank out of here. Sorry, Hank. That's Mr. Hank, Annie. He loves to come play, and you know Mr. Hank. Anyway, I'm sorry. I know it's not what everyone wants to hear. I know everybody wants to be on the same page. I'm just not. And the longer I sit out here and the more I pay attention, the more I realize that I'm just, I'm not on board with this plan. I think it needs more time. I think he needs to be better, healthier, before we put him out there to fend for himself and to fight off that motley crew. I want you to notice, look at Rip's belly. That is because Rip fights everyone off except for Uncle Moo. Waylon doesn't look like that, but he will someday. But for now, he's just a baby and a baby needs a mama. Guess we'll see what happens.